In this example, we have a 20 meter cable that's hanging from the ceiling, and we need to lift it all the way up. The weight is 80 newtons. If it were bundled at the bottom, the amount of work would just be 80 times 20 or 1600. But as we pull it up, we no longer have to pull the cable at the top. So we have to look at our relationship here between the force and how much we've pulled up. So when we have pulled up none, we will have 80 newtons of force when we first start pulling. That's how much force we have to pull to lift it. When we get out to 20, after we've pulled up 20 meters, there's nothing left, so that goes down to zero. So now there's two ways to solve it, calculus or just a quick algebra geometry proof here. So we know that the area under the curve here is our work done. So we can just say that's one, that's a triangle, it's one half the base is 20 meters times the height is 80 newtons, gives us 10 times 80 or 800 joules. Work done, newton meters and joules. Now we might have some cases later on where it's not that simple to measure the area under the curve. So we're going to start here and we're going to look at this from a calculus perspective. So let's look at our triangle there. We need to generate a function for this. And because it's a straight line, we can say it's, it's y equals mx plus b, or y equals the slope is what? Negative 80 over 20, negative 4 newtons per meter times how much I stretch it is my x plus b, my y-intercept is 80 newtons. So now I have a function for this. And I can say, oh, the work done equals the integral from 0 to 20 of negative 4x plus 80 dx. So now we want to turn that into an integral from 0 to 20. 80 is x to the 0, so that would be x to the 1. X to the 1 goes up to x to the 2. We brought, brought that down from a negative 2. That's going to give us our negative 4. So now the nice thing about this problem, we're going from 0 to 20. We just plug in 0. This piece disappears because there's x in all terms. So all we have to address is the 20. So negative 20 times 20 squared plus 80 times 20, or 400, I'm sorry, negative 2, negative 2, 400 times 2 is negative 800 plus 1600 equals positive 800 joules is our area under the curve, same answer we got over here. So. Basic geometry and algebra, or calculus. Either one will work for you. Get the same answer.